Hey everybody, Sam back once again, and yes, as the video title does show, we're putting the Sony Xperia Z, or Z, versus HTC One in a benchmark test, and we're going to be running Quadrant and Antutu. Let's test them. So yeah, i got a lot of people just saying, Sam, I know you've got both devices, we've seen both benchmarks, but put them both together in one video, so here we go for those people. So I'll do Quadrant first of all, let's run that full benchmark. So once again, I'll let it do its thing, and as you can see with regards to the screen again, it just doesn't look as nice as that one. Anyway, I'll come back once it's finished. It's winning. Right, so welcome back. So as you can see, the HTC One did finish before the Xperia. So do you want to proceed? Yes, we do. We'll see what this one gets first of all. And the scores in the doors today, hmm, a little bit lower than I've done previously, 11,853. Is that enough to beat the Sony Xperia Z? Let's have a quick look. And we have 8,008. So yes, in terms of a quadrant benchmark, to say the right one. Now again, benchmarks don't mean everything. It's just a clear, it's kind of an indication as to where the devices could sit. Running a Snapdragon 600, a Snapdragon S4 Pro, both quad core, 1.5 gigahertz, 1.7 gigahertz, two gigabytes of RAM on both of them. But if you've not seen my screen my screen comparison video, you might want to click on screen right about now. As you can see there, the screen difference again. Anyway, we're not here to see that sound. We're here to do the finish and the benchmarks. So and two two. Now yes, they've both done them before. So I'm going to blur the actual figures out if they do pop up on screen. So let's uh, test these ones again. So let's test these bad boys out. So once again, we'll let them uh, do their thing, and we'll come right back. Right, so it's finished again, and the HTC One did finish once again sooner than the Xperia. So as you can see there, there they are, they are scores. I think my words out. Let's submit those ones. Actually, get the big ones up there for us. Let's go to the scores on both of them. Now, Sam, go back and get to the scores. So as you can see, twenty-four thousand five hundred and five against the pretty impressive nineteen thousand five hundred and fifty-seven. So again, benchmarks don't mean everything. Please do not take this as gospel that this means this is a better device than this, even though it is. But <laughs> don't always take it as that the bigger number is always the better one, because in this, in some cases, it's not. Um, you know, it's just an indication of where they could be benchmarking at. Personally, this is a much faster device than this. Obviously, it's running a new CPU and etc. etc. But yeah, that's it, people. That is my benchmarking on the Sony Xperia Z, Z, however you want to say it, against HTC One my current king of android anyway do you have any questions if you do leave those comments down below if you want to follow me on twitter facebook google plus all the links are in the description and yeah don't forget to hit the like button it is very much appreciated and subscribe for more anyway thank you for watching and i will see you in my next video cheers everyone